Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. In this video, we are going to be playing along with the Fiji and Drua versus Blues game that is coming up for Super Rugby Pacific. We will be starting as Fiji and Drua for the first half, then trying to make up the points that we do score in that first half as the Blues in the second half. If you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It's going to be Caleb Munts kicking off this game for the Fiji and Drua. I should mention the Drua's lineup is exactly what it will be for the matchup this weekend. The Blues, at the time of recording, have not announced their lineup. So I have just gone with, I guess, the stock standard one. I was quite surprised because they didn't actually go with Habosi in the starting lineup for the Fiji and Drua. So I'm not too sure whether or not that's an injury. Mark Delia listening very closely to the fact that the referee penalised him. <clears throat> you know what? In honour of the way that the Fiji and Drua were played, they would not take the three from here. They possibly would this early on in the game, but Caleb Muntz is going to take the quick tap. And he's going to get dri driven into touch. Oh no. Okay, we got the line out on the 22. It's not all doom and gloom yet for us. Now it is, because that is not very straight at all. Dolokoto just getting that one slightly wrong. They're not being friendly at the moment, the Blues. They aren't willing to give us the ball. Eklund has gone through a gap there. And it's a good run. Manimbi's got it. Right, this is the Fiji and Drew's chance. We've lost the ball. Okay, it wasn't quite our chance. Eklund, bang, got him. Put him through the post. Oh no, Caleb Clark is back. I thought he was still suspended from kneeing a guy in the head. Revovo, ball on the outside. Now out to Kuravoli, he might get caught. He's done the step, unable to find the offload though. Now the Fiji and Drua, tell you what, if we can get this across here as quickly as possible. Hey, <laughs> why do you do that? I had a plan there. Derialangi, back up though, pop. Here he goes, like a pop goes the weasel. Kuravoli, I didn't even realize we had a Ritave out there. Roger, go away. Oh, it's a good fin on Roger Dormasashek. Nasove, back to Rumfo. Oh, what's he doing there? He's just throwing it into touch. Back taking it quite nicely for him. Finley Christie, he's been wrong for a Go away. <laughs> They're just quite quick, aren't they? Offload, off to Rumfo. Look at the step from him. In the fly on Fiji. It's going to score the first try of the match. Rumfo, he may have thrown the ball out half a second ago. But he knew where the try line was there. Not able to stop that offload to Munts. And then Revovo just went round Stephen Perafetto. I know he had a rough game last week. That probably tops it though. It's going to be pretty nice for him. 31 minutes through this game now. And we do need probably one or two more tries at least to make this game competitive in the second half. But now Bowden Barrett about to kick this one back off to the Fijian drawer. And we get another one. Enrico Ioani able to steal that. That is going to be half time now. If we can't get this ball back, I assume that the Blues will be looking to kick this one into touch perhaps. It was Roger Tuovasa Sheku who went for the touch line. Didn't quite get it right though. Now Salo's been choke slammed by Toanga Fassi. That was a bit high, mate. You are going to the bin now. Going to go for the quick tap. Revovo. Off now to Kuravoli. Off to Deria Lange. That's gone straight into the hands of Rico Ioani. Good shot though. And we've got a straight back for Nasorve. Now after Revovo. Samu, Samu, Vaudre, gonna be stepping, not quite able to get round Perifetti. He's actually made a lot of tackles since messing up his first initial one. That did lead to the try, Dolakoto, off the Revovo, this is looking good, Ratave, one more, Kuravoli, found the offload to Munz, one more out to Taliga, ball on the inside to Nasove, that is class from the Fiji and Roy, and we score the first try of the match for a forward. Caleb Munz, nice pass, and then look at this draw and pass. In fact, you'd argue maybe you wouldn't have made it over the line. So very nicely done by the Fiji and Drua. And Nasorve scores the try right at the end of the first half. It's looking good and it is going to be going over. So now the Fiji and Drua, they will have themselves a nice 14-0 lead going into the second half. Now we switch to the Blues to see whether or not we can get back into this game or whether it will be the Fiji and Drua who get themselves a monumental victory at Amy Park. Now off to Eklund Barrett. Off to Rico Ioani, going straight up the middle. Someone's got a... Okay, now that felt a bit cheap. Rico. <laughs> Good low down from Goodju. Moving the ruck a little bit. And now, wow, well, he's just had his head taken off, which is exactly what you expect. Up against the Fijian draw. He is quick. Still going, Roger Dovasashek. Ball on the outside of Christy. Now Satutu does get wrestled backwards. Papa Lee, first receiver, or first man into that breakdown. Keep it on the side. Of the Blues, now Perafeta. One more back to Ioani. It's a meeting out on the wing. They're trying to decide who's going to go over. It could be Bowden Barrett. He's done the step. He's close to the touchline. He just stays in. And Bowden Barrett scores the first try in the match for the Blues. Nicely done. I'm not too sure what the meeting was about because it was Clark, Ioani, and also Bowden Barrett. They were all just standing next to each other as if trying to work out who was going to be the first receiver in this situation. Look, it's just a group meeting. And eventually... They did work out that Barrow was going to be on the outside. 
Nice step around the fullback and does end up going in for the try. And that one should be going over. Normally, actually, now that I think about it, Peter Feta would be the kicker for the Blues as he is normally just a little bit more consistent, but Bowden Barrett gets that one over. Now making the score 14 points to the Fiji and Drua and seven to the Blues. Rico Ioane gonna be trying to back his base around the side. Nice offload to Toanga Fasi now. Roger Tovasashek off to Barrett. Christie, he's got Caleb Clark or he had Caleb Clark with him. I don't think Christie's winning a foot race against a lock. Hopefully someone is back there. And Roger Tovasashek kicks it for touch, about 15 metres out from the line. Not our best kick. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're just walking through the barriers. We're playing peekaboo. What's going on here, boys? Can someone take Tarika De Vita off our side of the line out, please? I feel like that is very much so offside, but it's worked out for us. Now Tovasa Sheik goes back across to Rico Ioane, and when we talk about players who are able to outrun people, it is certainly that man. He might get outrun, though. Beautiful offload to Tovasa Sheik. He's been knocked out. And now, unfortunately for Fiji, they are going to end up having a man in the bin. It is in number 15. Jeez, that's a massive hit. Now no one's going to be at the back. Even though they are one man down, I feel like the three points here is a smart option just to get us a little bit closer to being back in the game. As long as Barrett gets it, yes he does. Good strike of the ball from Bowden Barrett. And now the score, the Blues sitting on 10 and Fiji and Drill sitting on 14. Who's trying to get yourself back up to your feet, get that turnover. Tell you what, Finley Christie's going to have nightmares about Manimbi here. He's just been shunted off by him again. And the line, Finley Christie around the side. He's once again Manimbi. Manimbi is his best friend at the moment. He'll be hoping that they go on the same team at some stage. So 2-2, two, two. wow, that's some space. Going straight up the middle, 60 arm out. All we need is a wide pass to the right and we have scored a try here. Rico Ioane, one more, out to Tuovasashek, and he scores a try for the Blues right near the end of the game. That could be the match winner here for the Blues, and it would be none other than Roger Tuovasashek who was able to score it. That might be a bit soft from Barrett. Nah, that's still going to go over. So now the score is going to be 17 points to the Blues and 14 to the Fiji and Drua. They are back to 15, and it is the number 15 who is returning out to the field now for the Fiji and Drua. Caleb Munt's about to kick this one back off. They go short. And big red Tom Robinson takes it nicely. Thunderbolt to Romano. Rico Ioani out to Talia. Not quite pacey enough. His head's in touch, and it is. Yes, it is. We're going to do something here. I don't want to end it just by kicking this ball into touch. So we're just going to force him deep into their own area. We're going to try and take away that bonus point. Nice tackle there. Another good one from Rico. Everyone's lying on the ground currently. The Fiji under they they've still got this ball. Waiting for their opportunity down the wing. Uh-oh, it's one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to choke. Oh, luckily Christie's made the tackle because I was just running in circles there. But the Blues just narrowly sneak themselves the win there up against the Fiji and And now the big question is how will this game go in real life? The first time we ever get to see these two sides play off should be an absolutely awesome game. But unless, thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, you do want to see more of this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all for the next one.